Smart, confident, and always entertaining at play, the adorable West Highland White Terrier, also known as Westie, has charmed its owner for over 300 years. Standing 10 to 11 inches at the shoulder, with dark piercing eyes, compact body, and a carrot-shaped tail wagging with delight, the Westies look are totally irresistible. The White Terrier is everything a terrier was designed to be. Sturdy, spunky, and bold, the busy Westie is happy, curious, and always in the thick of things. It is affectionate and demanding, and one of the friendliest terriers known to the world. But what really makes it different from other terrier breeds? Well, here are top 10 things about the West Highland White Terriers that make them stand out from a bunch of other terrier breeds in the world. Number 1. Their Origin the West Highland White Terrier shares a history with that of a Dandy Dinmont, Skye, Scottish, and Cairn Terriers. They are all considered branches of the same breed. The West Highland White Terrier originated in Scotland and was used for hunting fox, badger, and for killing vermin such as rats. There is not much evidence to determine the exact history of the West Highland White Terrier, but many believe that Westie's white color resulted from a tragic 19th century accident that occurred while Colonel Malcolm of Poltalloch was hunting fox. The Colonel accidentally shot and killed one of his Witten colored Cairns. Devastated and determined to prevent such accidents in the future, he decided to breed only white dogs that couldn't be confused with foxes. The West Highland White Terrier has been known by many names including the Paltalek Terrier and the Roseneath Terrier, but he was officially recognized by the Kennel Club of England as the West Highland White Terrier in 1906. Number 2. They Make Great Lap Dogs the West Highland White Terrier is a bold, confident, fun-loving, intelligent dog who can find joy in the simplest pleasures of life such as squeaky toys, a belly rub, and food. His happy disposition and love of life make him a favorite for many in spite of his mischievousness. He doesn't lack any self-esteem but is not so overbearing in his confidence that his self-assurance becomes a negative trait. He's friendly and gets along with everyone and he enjoys being part of his family too. He's a lively little guy who greets the adventures in life with a sparkle in his eye and a skip in his step, particularly when he's mowing over your feet to get his food bowl. Highland Whites are therefore a happy-go-lucky lap dogs. Number 3. Dynamic Temperament most terrier breeds are remarkably similar. The same words are used over and over. Quick to bark, quick to chase, lively, bossy, feisty, scrappy, clever, independent, stubborn, persistent, impulsive, intense, and so on. But some terrier breeds are more so than others. Overall, as a breed, West Highland White Terriers tend to be in the middle section of the terrier spectrum. But of course, there are some individuals who will be in the higher end. Number 4. Prone to Lion's Jaw Cranium and dipolar osteopathy, also known as lion's jaw, is a developmental disease in dogs causing extensive bony changes in the mandible and skull. This condition affects the skull bones while a puppy is growing, causing them to become irregularly enlarged. Symptoms usually appear between 4 and 8 months of age. The cause is unknown but believed to be hereditary. Often the puppy's jaw and glands will become swollen and he won't be able to open his mouth. He'll drool, have a fluctuating fever that recurs every couple of weeks and in some cases his chewing muscles may atrophy. There is no treatment but anti-inflammatories and pain relievers help the dog deal with what is a painful condition. Proper nutrition is a must. In severe cases, a feeding tube may be needed. However, the irregular bone growth slows and typically stops by the time the puppy becomes a year old. Number 5. They have double coats. Westies have a double coat with a short undercoat and a top coat close to 2 inches long. The outer coat is straight and hard and the undercoat is soft. The only coat color for this breed is white, hence the breed name. The double coat protects Highland Terriers from inclement weather and from the teeth and claws of his quarry. The wee white one should, of course, always be white. Trimming is usually needed on the feet and around the ears and eyes. The hair on his head is often plucked to produce that definitive round shape you see on show dogs. His shedding tendencies range from low low to nearly zero. The coat stays fairly clean and it should only be bathed when necessary. To keep that coat a nice sparkly white, the Westie requires some tidying and may need to be wiped down, sometimes frequently. Number 6. They are difficult to train. Though much more amenable to training than other terriers, West Highland White Terriers must still be taught at an early age that they are not the rulers of the world. The toughness that makes them suited to killing vermin can frustrate you when you try to teach them anything. Terriers are stubborn and dominant. They want to be the boss and will make you prove that you can make them do things. You must show them, through absolute consistency, that you mean what you say. Number 7. They have a prey drive. 
a West Highland White Terrier is good with other dogs and is suited for multi-dog homes. However, an intact male generally dislikes other intact male dogs, Westy or otherwise. He can adjust to cats, but that's easier if he's been raised with them rather than adjusting to a late life introduction. He has a strong prey drive and will chase cats who decide to run from him. A Westie should not be trusted with small animals because of his prey drive. Bred to go to ground after little vermins, he can differentiate between the caged pet mouse in your child's bedroom and a wild mouse that found its way indoors. If you want any small pet, including rabbits or birds, this is not the breed for you. Number 8. They need daily brushing. To keep the Westie looking his best, regular grooming is a must. Stripping or plucking the old dead hair is the traditional way of taking care of the terrier coat and it is the grooming method that must be used if you're interested in showing your dog. Pet owners often have their dog's coats clipped for neatness. Most people find a professional groomer who will help keep that beautiful Westie look. Usually a visit to the groomer every 4-6 to six weeks will work just fine. Daily brushing and combing is important. Because the Westie has a hard coat, bathing too often can be more harmful than helpful. Helpful. Number 9. They are very energetic. Westies love to romp and play, and they enjoy a nice walk. Since by nature they will run after anything that moves, the breed does best in a fenced area or on a leash. With their intelligence, energy, and can-do attitude, Westies excel in a variety of canine sports and activities including obedience, rally, and agility. True to the breed's original purpose, they have the instinct to go to the ground and are superstars at earth dog events. Number 10. They have loud mouths. These verbal dogs like to alert you of everything from passing cars to squirrels in a tree. West Highland White Terriers were bred to have big barks so that hunters could hear their dogs barking underground, an especially useful trick if they got stuck. Their bark also makes for a great alarm but don't expect to use them as guard dogs because they're more likely to become friends with any intruder. Alright guys, that's the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the West Highland White Terrier. Thank you so much for watching the video, please give it a thumbs up if you like the list. And let us know if you're planning to get a cute little Westie anytime in the future. Or if you already have one, share with us how life is really like being around a West Highland White Terrier in the comments below. For more interesting videos like this, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe.